Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is a candle-powered boat. As always, adult supervision is required. What you'll need for this experiment is an aluminum can, a vaulted candle, long lighter, tape, and a long pan. What you're going to do is take your aluminum can and take some electrical tape, and we're going to tape the can uh, from the top all the way to the bottom and back up to the top again. This is just going to give us a nice marking uh, to where we're going to use our box cutter to cut out a piece of the aluminum can, which will eventually be our sail. Now we're going to take the electrical tape on the top part of the can, and we're going to go from one side of the tape to the other side of the tape, about halfway around. Uh, once we get that, rip the tape, and then we're going to do the same exact thing on the bottom part of the can. So it ends up looking like this right here. Uh, now we're going to take our safety gloves out, put those on, uh, at least on one hand, and take your box cutter and cut out exactly along the line of the tape on the top part of the aluminum so it looks something like this right here when we get that out. Uh, so now we got to put a piece of tape on that cutout piece and don't forget to uh, put a piece of tape in the hole on the top of the can and then take the tape and secure it on the bottom part of the can so um, it's nice and on tight and it angles up. That in, is our sail for our candle power boat. And then we're gonna take the candle and put that inside our candle power boat. Like that. So now we have our boat ready. And here we go once again, put the candle into the boat and then you have your pan filled with about three quarters or maybe an inch of water and take your long lighter um, and light the candle in the boat. Make sure it's secure so it's not moving. Uh, be careful not to burn yourself and light the candle. The candle heats up the air and makes the hot air rise. The rising air pulls the air from the front of the can. This is because the air that has risen has to be replaced with air. The heated air goes to the end of the sail and pushes the can. The hot air wants to move up because it's expanding, getting less dense. But when it's hitting the flap of the sail, it changes direction and pushes the force on the boat. The top speed for our candle boat depends on a couple different things. The force and balance of the boat between the forward force of the hot air and the counter force and the drag of the water. The drag is dependent on the shape of the boat. For us, that's an aluminum can. And also the properties of the water and the air and what proportion of the boat is in the water. Try different things like maybe a longer aluminum can, raising the sail, or multiple candles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.